Brothers and sisters, I want us to look at uh, Revelation chapter 18, verse 23. Look at what the Bible says and think about what is going on right now. The Bible says, And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee. The light of a candle. Now let's first analyze that one line. What is the light? We know that uh, Jesus is light. The word of God is light. God himself, he brought the light into the world. The presence of God is the light. So could it be meaning that the presence of God will no longer be in you? You will no longer feel God inside you. Let's continue. And the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee who is the bridegroom jesus is the bridegroom and the church will be married to christ so does it mean that we'll no longer be able to feel the voice of uh, jesus christ the voice of god inside us you know all of us we all have something in us which tells us to worship which makes us have that craving of worship. And the Bible here is saying, the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in you. Does it mean whatever thing is about to be spoken here, when it happens, then you'll no longer feel God. You'll no longer feel the bridegroom. For thy merchants, who are merchants? These are businessmen. These are great men who are merchants, sellers. They were selling something. They were doing business. They were big companies. For by for thy merchants were the great men of the earth. For by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. Meaning these big companies, these merchants, these great sellers who are powerful, great businessmen, they deceived all nations by their sorceries. Okay, what is this sorcery? What is it sorcery that uh, they're talking about? All right, now let's see. In the Strong's con Concordance here, when you look at uh, the meanings of uh, the words here, we can be able to see. Okay, let's go down here. Mm. Look at the word sorceries here. Okay, sorceries. Uh, Strong's Concordance is uh, G5331. Let's see what it means. Transliteration means pharmakeia. Pronunciation pharmakia. All right. Hmm. Look at the first mention of that pharmakia. Okay. Let's see the biblical usage. The use or the administering of drugs, poisoning, sorcery, magical acts, often found in connection with idolatry and fostered by it, metaph, deceptions, seductions, idolatry. Huh, look at number one, the use or the administering of drugs. Does that make some sense to you, brothers and sisters? Are you being deceived? Are you being deceived? The voice of the bridegroom, will it never be heard anymore in you because you are deceived by the great merchants of the earth? Think. Think. 